Japan has condemned North Korea's latest missile test as outrageous. This after South Korea's military says its northern neighbor has fired two ballistic missiles into the sea. Japan's Coast Guard has confirmed they landed just outside its maritime borders. Just days ago, Pyongyang hailed the successful testing of new long-range cruise missiles described as a strategic weapon of significance. Michael Pem is in Tokyo with more on the incident. Uh, very few details. In fact, uh, you know, our, the first reports were only that uh, a couple of projectiles were fired uh, into the seas. Uh, and uh, as you mentioned, this, they did not uh, land within uh, Japan's either territorial waters or exclusive economic zone. So they landed in international waters. Uh, and then uh, quite recently, uh, it was confirmed that these projectiles were, uh, in fact, uh, uh, ballistic missiles of some sort. So at the moment, uh, this information is still kind of coming in. It's still a little sketchy, uh, but uh, it does seem that uh, uh, this is, uh, once again, for the second time this week, uh, a major missile test uh, carried out by the North Korean regime. I wouldn't really call it a surprise in the sense that, you know, anyone who's been covering these issues for a number of years uh, ha has seen uh, lots of different kinds of ballistic missile tests by the North Koreans. Uh, you know, the tensions were particularly high in, uh, you know, the late part of 2017 when North Korea was actually firing ballistic missiles uh, entirely over the Japanese archipelago and into the Pacific Ocean. That was, you know, a lot more provocative than I think what, what just happened uh, today. Uh, but, uh, you know, certainly uh, it seems that the North Koreans have chosen this time uh, to try to um, make a statement to somebody. <laughs> uh, it's hard to interpret exactly what what they have in their minds. But you know, Japan itself uh, now is in the midst of a political transition, with one prime minister resigning and an, another prime minister likely to come in a, in a couple of weeks. So it's it's not really in a position where it can react uh, in any long term sense. Uh, but yes, uh, certainly the North Koreans are sort of signaling that they want attention. And uh, now they're going to get some attention and, and we'll see uh, if this sort of brings anybody to the negotiating table or not.